Hello Year 8! Hopefully you're having a wonderful day and you really enjoyed all the work I set you yesterday, which you should have done by now, which was the essay and if you can't find it then it is on Teams. So you've got two lots of work to do today, aren't you lucky? Right, so when I see you on Monday I will want your books in so I'll see that you've done some work just as a reminder. So you need to bring your books in on Monday with all the work done. What we're going to do today is we are going to look at the structure of a leaf. Now, before I show you the diagram, I'm going to show you a leaf because, you know, you have never seen leaves before. So here we go. This is a leaf. It is green. And the top of it is waxy, just like your skin is waxy. And this is to stop water getting in. But plants need water, you're thinking. Yes, they do. We're going to find out more in a minute. So the top side is waxy to stop water getting in but the underside isn't waxy it's a little bit bumpier hmm let's take a look at the diagram to find out why all right then my lovelies this diagram is a picture of the inside of a leaf and we can see it's taken a section through this part of the leaf here so what can we see inside our leaf first of all we can see our waxy cuticle so our waxy bit just above our epidermis epidermis is as we know just another word for skin so this is just one cell thick the epidermis here underneath the epidermis we have the palisade layer now when you draw a picture of a plant cell it's usually something that looks a bit like this let's just zoom in on it a bit okay so we've got a palisade cell and inside the cell we have got the vacuole um, just use a pen, hang on a second. So we have got a vacuole in the middle and around it here we've got the cytoplasm with lots and lots of chloroplasts in it. These chloroplasts are really important for photosynthesis which we're going to look at on Monday. Underneath our palisade layer we have got something called the spongy mesophyll. I love that word mesophyll, it's gorgeous isn't it and it's spongy because it's got lots of lots and lots of air holes in it remember the two things that we need for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide and water and so our carbon dioxide gas has to get in and it gets in through the little holes or stomata at the bottom and it's all in the spongy mesophyll at this point and then the oxygen that's made can leave through the same way so they get the carbon dioxide from the air and the water comes up through the xylem and you can see the xylem just here and the xylem is one of the veins, not quite right, but I'll call it a vein because we're used to thinking of veins as transporting fluids. So the water gets sucked up from the roots and it goes all the way up the trunk of the plant and out to the leaves. And that happens in the xylem here. The phloem is for transporting sugars, so that's going to take sugars away. Xylem brings the water to the leaf. The phloem takes the sugar away. And at the bottom, we have got another layer of epidermal cells, but this time they don't have the wax on, okay? Wax on, no wax on. We're not even wax offing, it's just no wax. And in the middle here, you can see all these holes. Is it stomata? And yeah, stomata. This says stomatal pore. But the word we're looking for is stomata. One stoma, two or more stomata. And there are guard cells on either side. And these guard cells, they can open and close when they are full, when they are turgid and they are really really full then they open up so if they've got lots of water in they will open to let everything out if on the other hand it's quite dry what happens is they become flaccid and loose and they will close because that if i oh, put my hand like this flaccid um they're loose and they're closed turgid they get bigger and they just push apart like that and they open up okay so there you go, that's the cross section of a leaf. We stop the water from getting in here because it gets in here with the xylem. We do our photosynthesis here in the palisade layer 
we get our carbon dioxide into the spongy mesophyll layer. The carbon dioxide enters through the stoma or the stomata because you've got lots of them. And the oxygen and the water come out through the same way. The guard cells open and close to control the stomata. Okay, if there's any questions, you will be able to ask me on Monday. But that's what the inside of a leaf looks like. Looking forward to seeing you again. Take care and have a wonderful day off. Uh, well, you've not really got a day off because I know there's work that I've set for you to do. Go and enjoy it. Take care. Bye.